Hello and happy hump day. I'm Cindy Neely and it's time for the shortcut. Coming up on tonight's show, it can be tempting to reach for chips, cookies and other late night snacks that aren't the healthiest for you. Trust me, I know, but there are some tasty and healthy options out there when you have the midnight munchies. Take a look at some of these savory late night snacks that are filling and won't leave you feeling guilty. First up is dark chocolate. Yes, you heard that right. If you have a sweet tooth, dark chocolate is an option. It's rich in antioxidants and relatively low in sugar. Next, Greek yogurt. It's packed with proteins and is a great source of probiotics. It's even been linked to insomnia relief. Rice cakes, they're light and made with a few simple ingredients. You can pair it with fruit, nut butter, or cheese for added nutrients. Oatmeal, it's a complex carbohydrate and it's great to eat before bed. According to John Hopkins, it triggers the release of the sleep hormone serotonin and does not take long to digest. Kiwis, the fuzzy skin fruit, might also help you sleep better. According to one study, adults who ate two kiwis an hour before bedtime got to sleep 45% faster and stayed asleep longer than participants who did not. There are many benefits of being a parent, but for new parents, there is a con, and that's the lack of sleep. Raising a little one can leave you feeling sleep deprived, groggy, and not quite like yourself. Check out these tips from Mayo Clinic on how you can get the sleep you need. Sleep when your baby sleeps. Copy your child. Don't use that time to do chores. Instead, silence your phone and go to bed. You'll wake up healthier, happier, and more refreshed. Set aside social graces. When family and friends come to visit, ask if they can watch the baby while you take a nap. Trust me, they'll understand. More than likely, they'll be happy to spend quality time with the little one while you get some much needed shut eye. Split duties with your partner and tag team with them. Parents have success when they divide and conquer. For example, one partner takes the 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. slot, the other takes the 2 a.m. to 7 a.m. slot. That way you can get more consecutive hours of sleep. Last, give watchful waiting a try. Mayo Clinic suggests you might need to let your baby cry themselves to sleep. Of course, if you think they might be hungry or uncomfortable, you should tend to them, but they say it is okay to encourage self-soothing. If your baby continues to cry, check on them and comfort them before leaving the room. That's all the time that we have for tonight's show. Tomorrow, I'm getting you ready for the weekend. Find out the entire rundown of what events you can attend. I'm Sydney Neely, and I'll catch you tomorrow on The Shortcut.